So you just want a close range free kick, but your opponent turns on their goalkeeper's cursor. At this point, they want to manually control their goalkeeper for them to be able to save the ball by guessing where you would play the ball to. I'm going to be giving you some steps to take in order for you to increase your chances of scoring. For step one, the goal is to trick your opponent into thinking where you would play the ball, but actually playing it on the opposite side. So here I am using Nema, and we know Nema is a right footed player. Naturally, he should take the ball to the left side of the post, he should kick the ball or try to score from the left side of the post, which should be over the defensive wall. And most times, your opponent would probably choose this option and dive their keeper towards the right side of the post or towards the uh, end of the defensive wall. So the best thing to do is to try to score from the right side of the post. From your point of view or from your free kick taker's point of view, when you do that, you are completely ignoring the defensive wall. You are not even considering it at all because we expect our opponent's goalkeeper to dive towards the left side of the post. So for you to completely get him off guard, the best suggestion is to try to play it from the right side and I'll show you how to do that. For you to get the best call or curve on the ball, move the ball to the point where the last man of the defensive wall on the right is very close to the post okay if you look at the picture very closely you can see that the man is just very is almost touching the post merely looking at it so with the amount of call that Neymar has he would be able to call or curve the ball into the post and it will be very difficult for any goalkeeper to try and catch okay so the next thing you have to do is to increase your power gauge to a range of 50 to 60 percent looking at my own power gauge i use about 55 percent not more than 60 percent because i'm not going over the wall if you are going over the wall you have to use a power range of 60 to 70 percent depending on the distance if it's really really close like say uh 16 meters 17 meters even 18 meters you have to use a power gauge of at least 60 percent in fact use a power gauge between 60 to 70 percent which is about 65 percent once you've gotten the required power level you need to manually call the ball into the post since you are using a right footed player, you have to hold the left direction key on the D-pad. You hold it until the ball goes into the net or the keeper uh, reaches it or catches it or punches it away. Do you understand? So you have to use the left key because you are using a right footed player and you want to use the inside foot of the player's leg. Okay. If you are using a left footer, you have to use the right key, like the tutorial did with Messi. But since we are using Neymar, a right footed player, we have to use the left key and hold it while, while the ball is you know, flying through the air. You have to hold it till it gets to the end point. If you are using the left joystick or analog stick, you have to push it to the left and hold it until the ball gets to his destination.